All right, so we've been uh, sanding on our toy box here. <clears throat> and uh, I sanded for close to an hour that I didn't uh, think you needed to watch. So um, anyway, but you know, I got to thinking about my little grandson. He's just a year old. And we don't want any splinters or anything like that on here. So, uh, and there was places where the wood wasn't just matched up exactly perfect. This is a good example. This piece right here was like sticking out just a little bit. Now we got that nice and smooth. So, and, and there's not going to be a covering on the outside of here. The covering's going on the inside. Um, you know, it's, it has to do with the design. So, uh, boy, I really kind of had to watch myself with the sanding because I'm so used to sanding on harder woods like oak or mahogany or that sort of thing. And this is all... This is all just white pine, so it's it's pretty soft, and it really doesn't take much. And quite honestly, uh, it, it's a pleasure to sand it because you can make a lot of progress in a hurry. Uh, just as far as that's concerned, I'm, I'm using my Cubitron from 3M. Um, this is 120 grit, and uh, I like this stuff because it's got, like there's the holes where, where you see the the rough part and then the the whiter part is actually air hole so regardless of your sander you could just suck the dust right through this and there there it's uh it's made by 3m cubitron uh i just love this stuff so i can't recommend that enough and i'm not getting paid to say that it's just something that i've discovered that i like so use that if you like now the next thing is we're going to have to go ahead and assemble this and I'm going to use some bronze screws, which I think will uh, look pretty cool, but I'm going to countersink them. So when I come to put these edges on here, obviously we just have it clamped right now, but I'm going to countersink into here and then screw in there to get these, get these pieces tied all together. And uh, at that point, we should be able to cut our bottom piece, which we had refrained from doing because we weren't sure if the dimensions in the plan were gonna be the exact right amount by the time we actually got this all together. And I have already measured it and it is not the same as what uh, the plan called for. And I know why. Uh, if you remember earlier in the video, these, these pieces on the end, um, these ones here, I don't know what you can see. Those called for one and three quarters and we didn't have that size lumber. These are one and a half. So uh, the, the result of that is that we are actually a half inch shorter on the end. So if you, if you do this project, I, I would recommend, you know, if you can get the right lumber for it, fine. Or if you feel like ripping down one and three quarter inch stuff, you know, to get to it, you could do that. I, I just didn't think it was necessary. Uh, but the point is, uh, don't cut your bottom out until, until you're ready to go. The other thing that they call to do is to insert the bottom. Obviously this is the top, but they talk about putting the bottom in the inside of it. I'm not gonna do that either. I'm gonna put it flush on the bottom um, and all the way out to the edges of these of these boards. And then we'll just screw from the bottom up into, into this to hold it on. And it should be plenty strong. So um, I do remember as a kid having a toy box and it was, a you know, some production thing. Uh, but the bottom failed and it sagged. And uh, there was always that idea of how can we get that bottom back in there? Uh, if I would ever hear that story about this, first of all, I'd be surprised, but we could reinforce the bottom if we wanted to. But this plywood we've got three quarter inch and for no bigger than this is, that's, that's super strong. So uh, anyway, I'm gonna shut up and uh, start countersinking some holes so that we can get the, these four sides tagged together. Okay, so like I said, I'm gonna use bronze screws. Now I've got some number eight, one and a half, 
and uh, this is three quarter inch. So if I'm coming through there, that's going to be into here another three quarter inch. So that should be plenty. Plus it's going to be countersunk. Um, I've got a, a countersink bit and I've got it adjusted so that uh, it's pretty much the length of the screw. Now, I don't have it to where it's the full depth of the screw because I want the end of that screw to be able to bite into something. And being that this is pine, we're not going to run any risk of stripping uh, or splitting that wood. Uh, that's going to get us all but about, oh, eighth of an inch, maybe a quarter inch in the end. So that's good. And I got my, my bit. So... Uh, the only other thing now is we got to make sure these are exactly where we want them when we go to put these in here. Now this corner I'm really happy with, at least at the top. The other thing I don't want to do is I don't want to drill into the pocket screw. So there's a pocket screw going that way into this piece. Uh, so I'm going to come down just a little bit because I don't have to be on line with this piece of wood over here. I just have to get this corner together with this piece here. So I'm going to come down just a little bit, center that. And we got that countersunk. Let's see if we can get that drilled or screwed in there. That's what I'm talking about. That's exactly how I want that to go. Yeah, this clamp's holding that really nicely. We're just gonna go ahead and do another one down here. I have all this bronze from my boat building and I try to keep some on hand. Well, you absolutely could use stainless on this. It doesn't have to be bronze, but I think it's gonna look cool. Okay. Now my wife says I always go crazy with too many screws, but I don't want it coming apart. All right. So we're just gonna rotate. Drill and screw, drill and screw. What I'm doing is trying to match those screws up from side to side so they're equidistant and same height and depth. So I got my plywood, it's three quarter inch, and um, I am quite happy to report that this corner over here, here and in the front here where I'm looking, it's almost an exact square. So this box really is quite square which uh, is real good news for me because I should be able to uh, draw some lines on here and then just run through the table saw and not have to worry about getting too crazy about how I'm doing this. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Now we gotta saw this one here. <clears throat> I'm pretty happy with that. Oh yeah. Okay, so we're just gonna flip that over and then we're gonna put that on that bottom.
here you're seeing me put a clamp on underneath there. I had to kind of squeeze the sides together just a little bit. They were tried to bow out just a little bit. saw it's real lightweight it's perfect for something like this just got to get right in here we got a marker well, all we got to do is just get up to here so well, this was good boys one of these for Christmas this is this little saw is just awesome it's got other blades that come with it that you can cut tile and stuff with it too I believe or metal I can't remember I've just used it mostly for wood it's got a laser too I don't hardly ever use it but You know, if I was smart, I'd lay that down. Might be easier. Don't have the glue running all over the place. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's awful easy to use too much glue. You don't need that much. Okay. That's great. Uh, where'd my piece go? Oh, it's right in here. Okay, so we're just gonna we're just gonna fold that down and lay it right in there. Cool. All right, this thing calls for some quarter round in the corners and we got a couple of little tiny gaps but I don't really want to add any more weight to this thing so I'm not going to put it in there we still have to do the lid and it's going to be plenty heavy I do have a rather major goof up I forgot to cut out this little notch for the handhold thing and it's already glued in there so I'm going to get a multi-tool or something and cut that out of there. It's so thin, it's not going to be a big deal. I just wish that I would have done it before I before I glued it in there. So anyway, but all in all, man, that's cool looking. Let's see if we can fix this screw up. sandpaper and sand that out of there and that's going to be fine. It was actually easier than I thought it was going to be. There's, no There's a couple of places where this plywood's a little proud. Just, I'm not too worried about it there. But over here, we really, we got to have to take off some of that. If you like the video, remember to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.